The relation R is described by the following ordered pairs. So I'm given a set of ordered pairs. Represent R as a table and a graph. Find the domain and the range. First, representing R as a table with X and Y for my first set of values and my second set. So I have minus 2, 7 from my first set of ordered pairs. The X is always listed first and then Y. 3, 6, minus 4, minus 8, 0, 1, 2, 6, and finally 5, 7. So I've represented the relation as a table. Now I'm asked to represent it as a graph. Again, I've been given a set of ordered pairs, so this is going to be just points on the coordinate plane, discrete points, six discrete points. Minus two, seven, so minus two, and then seven. So add on just a bit. That's my first point. Next point is three, six. So three on the X axis, and then six on the Y axis. Next, negative four, negative eight. So we'll put negative eight right there. Negative four, negative eight. Zero, one. Zero for the X, one for the Y. Two, six. So two, six. And finally, five, seven. And what I have here are five discrete points, so that is my graph of this relation. The domain is going to be my set of x values. And I have minus two, it's easier to look at it in the table form, three, negative four, zero, two, and five. For the range, I have 7, 6, negative 8, 1. Well, I already have 6 listed. If I listed it again, that would be fine, but I really don't need to. And then 7. I already have 7. So my range is actually only these four unique numbers. I don't need to list numbers twice. So I represented the relation as a table as a graph, and I found both the domain and the range. Okay, in example four, the relation R is given by the following.